All right, and welcome to our video about math. We're looking at long division with estimation. Ooh, we're getting into so many layers here. It's so exciting. Come join me. All right, so here we go with our estimation and division. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a question like this. 375 children attend a school and they've earned a pizza party. Each pizza comes in eight slices. So if we're going to give every student a slice, how many pizzas are we going to have to buy? Uh, now we're going to actually estimate this. We want to see about how many pizzas we're going to have to buy because we're not going to need to know you know, slice per slice per student, it's okay to have a little left over because, you know, teachers like to eat too. All right, I know, shocking, right? You never would have guessed that. Here we go. We're going to do this question by estimating. So our two numbers we're working with are 375 students and eight slices per pizza. Very exciting. All right, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna use rounding to round our 375 students. We don't need to round the eight slices because we're pretty good at our eight times tables. We don't need to touch that. But 375 is a mighty big number to work with, so we're gonna round it to make it easier for us. So we're going to have uh, to round up because we want to make sure we have enough for everybody. So we're going to make 375 a nice even 400. How did I get that number you ask? Well, it's actually kind of easy. We're looking next door. I'm going to round to the hundreds. So I'm going to look next door. It's above five. So we're going to round it up to 400. And uh, we're going to round up anyway to make sure we have enough. This is kind of like that, you know, money question we had in the last video. So here we go. We're going to make this 400 students. And that is going to become our dividend. I'm just going to make some room here. We're also going to use our eight slices. And that is our divisor. And so we're going to see how many times our divisor goes into our dividend. So here we go. First, we look at the first digit only. Will 8 go into 4? I don't know if this is dark enough for you to see. There we go. Will 8 go into 4? No! Are you sure? How many times can 8 go into 4? No dimes. It's way too big. All right. So now we're going to look next door. Now we've got 40. Will 8 go into 40? Why, yes, you say. Excellent. How many times will 8 go into 40? Well, if we know our 8 times tables, and I know you do, you'll know that 8 times 5 is 40. So 8 times 5 is 40. We're going to write that down here. All right. And now we have to do our subtracting. So 0 take away 0 is, you guessed it, 0. And 4 take away 4 is Zilch. So, so then the next part is, will 8 go into 0? No, nothing goes into 0. And is there any other digits to look across to to help us out? No. So our question is just done. So 8 goes into 450 times. So we are going to need about 50 pizzas to feed all 400 students. And we're going to make sure we use the word about because we had to round that 375 into 400. It's not an exact number. So, the school will have to buy about 50 pizzas. Ta-da! You did it. You're amazing. Have a wonderful weekend.